Senior Night at Wabonzi Valley as the final week of the regular season is here. Nequa Valley hoping to keep pace in the DVC race while the Warriors look to string some wins together heading into the postseason. Injured senior captain Ashlyn Hickey returns to the court on crutches to start the match and she valiantly gets her underhand serve over the net. But the Wildcats are not feeling overly sentimental as Brianna Clayson delivers the kill for the 1-0 lead. Still a nice moment for the WB star to get one final play on her home court. Kate Staines serving for Niqua now, but Wabonzi is ready for a return. Caitlin Reinhardt bumps a pass to Katie Godo, who sets up fellow senior Alex Skirka for the kill. Niqua back on the serve before the Warriors send one back over with a Naomi Dowd attempt. Niqua then looks for a response, but Dowd gets back to the other side of the court and shows off the hang time with a block from her left hand. Wabonzi takes an 8-7 lead. Brianna Clayson serving again for Nequa Valley. Wabonzi has to send back a free ball, which allows NV captain Caitlin Chu to set up Brianna Jones, who drops the hammer for the point. The Wildcats retake the lead. Chu now taking her turn at the serving line. It's a low line drive, and it drops in for the ace as the Wildcats go up 22 16. Sarah Fournier serving now for Wabonzi Valley. Jones with a dig as Skylar Fildu sets up Isabella Carmichael for the kill. The Cats take set one, 25-17. Early in set two, Nequa Valley back on the serve. Katie Godo goes for the quick pass over the net, but a heads up play from middle blocker Yulia Shepkina to get up and knock the ball down for the point. The Warriors hanging tough in set two. Sophomore Asia Mitchell delivers an ace with her serve as the Warriors take the early lead. Dub V clicking well now as Mitchell is still on the serve. A free ball from Nequa leads to Goto setting the ball back to Naomi Dowd for the big kill. Wabonzi goes up by three. Goto then takes her turn to serve later in the set and she also drops an ace as the Warriors are feeling good. But when in doubt, the Nequa offense turns to senior captain Brianna Jones, which is usually a good idea. Jones with another monster kill that slams to the floor. Nequa right back in the set. Skylar Fildu steps up and she delivers an ace for the Wildcats. The blue and gold now in the lead and looking to close out the match. Caitlin Chu serving up 24-22. The Warriors scramble to get the ball over, which eventually they do but that leaves them a little out of sorts. That allows Eleanor O'Neill to fly in for the kill to end the set 25-22. Nequa Valley still alive in the DVC championship hunt with a 7-2 conference record, but the Cats need some help from Obanzi to upset Naperville North on Thursday if they want to earn the conference crown. So usually I'm, I'm trying, like, no matter what the score is, I'm trying to not look at it because I know that, like, one of my coaches said that, like, you could defeat any team with any score as long as you stay cool head and you share the confidence that you have in yourself. So I'm, like, a very confident player, and my job on the court is to spread this confidence to my confidence to my teammates, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Uh, I always love it. Uh, we always have a great environment at games, so it's really fun to see people that we go to school with come out and support us, and definitely something I'm going to miss. Yeah, our front row is crazy. They're insane, putting balls down all the time, bouncing it. We can really rely on our offense whenever. Yeah. yeah, we had a really good passing efficiency, which helps us get our hitters more involved, and we are able to work the ball more across the net, which kind of messes with the other team a little bit. I mean, every game we play is tough, so we always have stuff to work on for practices, but we really work on communication between players and just moving our feet more efficiently and getting more efficient as a team and working more together as a team. I think we're doing really well. I think we have a pretty good chance in postseason this year. We've been connecting pretty well recently and like, yeah. I mean, it's of course the players. Uh, Brianna Jones, setters, passers, every single one of them. And the players on the bench have their own part to making our team successful. Um, that's like, that's all, that's our like secret weapon, our team. Yeah.